Ammo for my nine millimeter. Nope, oh, that's a bag of grass. You guys don't need that. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, Ryan Cruzy Cruzy Originals? This is a video that's been in demand. Not really something I really wanted to do, but a lot of people are asking, so this is my toolbox review. What's in my toolbox? I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, because we got about 19% on that camera right there, battery life, and I don't want to change it. So here we go. This is my box, it's a Matco. Uh, the reason it's not a snap-on is because I tried to get a snap-on box for almost a year, and the sons of bitches would never show up in my shop to sell me a toolbox, so I bought a Matco. I love it a lot. It's, uh, I don't know how big it is. It's blue. It's pretty blue. It's pretty nice. We'll start down at this end. This is my, how everything goes. Over here, this is where I hang my shit. Up here, this is where I stick shit. Cards and stuff. That's my Rolodex. It's my magnet. Up here is where I pile shit. I like to pile shit up here, you know, multivitamins, WD-40, miscellaneous Harley parts, coffee cup, hand sanitizers. I shake a lot of hands all day long. If you come in here, trust and believe, you're going to look me in the eyes and shake my hand before we do any business. I don't care about what's going on or not. I ain't no pussy. We're shaking hands. Uh, start at the top, I guess. I only got two stickers on here, Cruise Originals. A little something from my boy Jesse Rook. And that's it because I don't want stickers on my toolbox. That's for... Not $10,000 toolboxes. <laughs> Top drawer is my socket drawer. Everything's a little messy right now, messier than I would like it to be. But we start over here, I got uh, half inch drive sockets, three inch drive sockets. This is all standard American stuff. Short ones, stubby Allens. These are all things you have to have as a mechanic. Stubby Allens, regular Allens, symmetric shit, all 12 point stuff. This is all big half inch drive impact stuff for Harley Davidson. I got Torx bits. Gotta have Torx bits. I got stubby Torx bits. Gotta have those. Quarter drive sockets. These are probably my favorite that I use the most. Uh, I got some fork cap tools. A lot of extensions. A lot of fancy extensions. If you got a quarter drive with a swivel on it, this is the best thing for taking exhaust off there is. Oh, uh, this is a box of shit. This is for rolling knots out of your back when you're old and beat up. More fork cap tools, some other weird shit. Ratchets, these are all my stap-on doodads right here. Smith & Wesson 9mm. It's a good one to have in your toolbox. These are gear wrench ratchets. I just bought these because I just wanted one long ratchet and this whole set cost as much as this one ratchet from Snap-on does and I actually like these so much better. These gear wrench ratchets, they're 103 teeth, they're phenomenal. I've also got a Zoo flipbook. Never know when you need to flip through some lines and shit. Uh, favorite tool in the world. This is a, I don't even know what you call it, little electric impact from Snap-on. It's clutched at 25 foot-pounds, so it won't torque anything. It'll just drive it in, and once it seats, it stops. You gotta come do the torque wrench afterwards. Uh, a bunch of adapters for it. These are uh, firecrackers. They're good to have in your toolbox. Long ball Allens, gotta have those. Long Allens, gotta have those. Impacts, impacts, impacts. little weird shit uh, wrench drawer lots of wrenches I got metric gear wrench wrenches because once again gear wrench we have gear wrench guy that used to be Matco Matco you can suck it big uh, he's gear wrench now so we've been buying them I'm loyal, I'm loyal to my dude man so I'm sticking with him I don't use much metric because this is a Harley Davidson shop and we don't use metric shit Ball Allens, Shorty Allens, Regular Allens, Metric Allens. These are some specialty tools. Rocker Box Special Tools, Rocker Box Intake Manifold Tools, Crescent Wrenches, Big Ass Wrenches. Snap-on wrenches, if you're gonna buy, like your wrenches you're using every single day, buy snap-on, because you're gonna beat them up. Ratcheting wrenches, gotta have those also. These are my little homemade wrench sets over here. 
Got a whole bunch of rear suspension tools over here. Exhaust spring tools. Ooh, look at this. This is for doing uh, spokes. I used to true a lot of wheels and do spokes back in the day. I don't do that. I do not do that shit anymore. Last wheel I trued, I threw the truing stand in the trash and called her quits. Uh, this is my electrical drawer. It's a bit of a mess. Got just got this gangster ass fucking soldering iron. This thing is Milwaukee electric. I've been running a snap on butane one for years. Worthless piece of shit that never lights. Just got this super lavish voltmeter. I don't even know how it works, but I got a free coat when I bought it. So it looks pretty rad. Crack torch for when times are tough. Oh, these are one of the best strippers I've ever had, man. Better than the ones at Bliss. Little tiny screwdriver set. Gotta have these. That's like, gotta have that for doing handlebars. Double sided stick tape. Nice pick set. I don't know what the f this is. Who knows? Box full of weird shit. Test light for searching for power. This is a test light for checking for spark. Plugs in line to your spark plugs. Bada bing. Line cutter. This is for doing crucial little line shit. Some other weird shit I got stocked up back in there. Uh, plier drawer. I got pliers. And tin snips. I use these for cutting license plates. Also a must have. Roach clips. <laughs> ah, next one down. This is like just some fab tools. Vernier calipers. Cheap ass ones. Reverse bits. These are the shit. Uh, taps go in these. So you can just stick a tap in it and then it goes into a ratchet. Instead of using one of them screw down tap holder bullshits. Razor blade kit. Super handy. Doing little custom-y things. Do a lot of custom-y things, files. This is a laser for lining in laser uh, chain drive kits with this. These are real nice for doing cams, hold your lifters up. Fueling pressure tester. Holy shit, this is real nice for when you bust off uh, exhaust studs. That mounts up in there, takes them out. Drills them out. Oh, a whole bunch of more fab shit, garbage really. Drills, saws, grinders, die grinders, pipe cutters, my template I made for cutting fenders for doing scrape plates, drill bits, pipe cutter, a bunch of other weird shit. Oil change device. <laughs> Reference old ass Cruzy Originals video and you'll understand. <laughs> Hot bike magazine how to oil change. This is my huge box of shit. Uh, that's where all my seal drivers are. Motion Pro seal drivers for doing fork seals. These are available on Amazon, actually. I'll put the link down in the bio if you guys need these. They come in all sizes. They're on Amazon. Click the link. Go find them. Go buy them. They're cheap. They work good. They're made by Motion Pro. 39 millimeter, 49. This is a seal driver I made for doing all the primary shit. All my wheel spacer collection. I got a shitload of axles and other weird miscellaneous things. Like you always have all these little things that you keep little crucial parts when you're working on motorcycles a lot. And you, I dig through this almost daily. Uh, what's over here? Hammers and shit. Got a bag of punches. Got some gloves. Got some old, I don't know what the f that is up something. Some CBD. If anybody's got chronic pain, this really doesn't do shit. <laughs> Uh, screwdrivers. Bull <laughs> Ammo from a 9mm. Keep that, stay strapped and ready at all times. Oh, that's a bag of grass. You guys don't need that. Uh, some rolling papers. Got a fork. Got a lot of old badges. 100th anniversary stuff in here. Some VIP card to somewhere weird. Lots of fingernail polish. Fingernail polish is the best paint touch-up stuff there is because it's got clear built into it and all that shit. Oh, check this out. My mom owned a salon. This was hers in like the 60s. Got you with the it's older than most of you.
Dude, I can't show you that. That drawer you stay the fuck out of. <laughs> so this is just toolbox one. Now we're gonna throw another battery in this. We'll walk around the corner. I'll show you my second toolbox. That's where all my specialty tools are and shit. Okay, toolbox number two. This is my OG toolbox. I actually worked out of this for years. When I worked at Gymnastic Customs, I bought this because I could roll it around. I had like five lifts so I could roll it all around and do all that shit. It's got a whole bunch of wiring stacked in the top of it. I've got every OEM Harley Davidson wiring color combination there is. And a whole lot of miscellaneous shit, but we keep all OEM stuff so when we wire something, it all goes back to factory. You gotta have a titty calendar in there. If you ain't got a titty calendar in your toolbox, you're, you're perpetrating. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, top drawer, more electrical shit. Look at all these connectors and whatnot. I can also send you to all of these fancy connectors on Amazon, amazon.com. Give you guys some links on things that we use. Uh, this is hose. This is the fuel line that we use. It's some high fluid and super race shit. You can't see the tag. I ain't telling you what it is, piss off. Uh, poly line, oil line, bag line sealer, braided steel line, heat shrink and wire loom and all that fancy shit. I got a couple heat guns for shrinking them. Lots of different sizes. Come on over to this joint. I got zip ties like a son of a bitch. I got a plastic welder. I don't know. Foley, if you're watching, I'm ready to do some plastic welding, bud. Terry the plastic welder. Uh, hose clamp tool. O-ring kit from Drag Specialties. This has all the O-rings for Harley Davidson, but not a goddamn one of them fit anything on a Harley Davidson, so don't ever buy this worthless piece of shit. Same with their C-clip kit. Same with their cotter pen kit. Same with their outside C-clip kit. Not a fucking one of them fit anything on a Harley Davidson. Uh, fancy tools. This guy right here is the shit. This fits up into a neck, so say we pull the front end off of a bike to get powder coat the trees and all that stuff and the bike's just stuck. If we pull it off, this goes up in there and you can just pick a bike up like a wheelbarrow and move it around the, move it around the shop and then set it on a block and set her down. It's pretty handy. Uh, this is one of the most important tools you should have. This is a thread chaser. So when you get shit back from powder coat or anytime you're putting, bolting something up, you run these through there and it cleans the dirt out, the old powder coat, all that stuff. It is a must have, most definitely. Uh, tap kit. Gotta have taps. This is also available on Amazon. We'll put the link in the bio. Available on Amazon. We will put the link in the bio. Uh, hole saw kit. This is a fueling kit right here. This is for setting up the pressure on a cam plate so you can adjust the cam plate oil pressure up and down and set it where you want it to be. I like running like 42 PSI myself on the max side. Another fancy tool that I made. It's for doing cartridges clamps into it. Yeah, you can pry her down. We actually have the right tool now. We don't even need that son of a bitch anymore. This is a bearing remover from Motion Pro. I will also put the link in the bio for this guy from Amazon. This is for removing the bearings off of the lower bearing on the triple tree when you're doing neck bearings. You got to have one of these to get them off or you're screwed. This is a wheel spacer out of a fat ass stupid wheel off of some chopper that I used to put the bearing back in there. Not available on Amazon. Uh, chain tool. Woo, this is for doing chains, putting the master links in. Also, this will be available on Amazon. I will put the link in the bio. You're gonna have so many good tools at an affordable price just from watching this video. Do you see what you're learning today, kids? After this, I'm gonna change my fucking shoes and sing a little song for you. Uh, snap-on bolt extractor kit. So say you got a bolt bust off, you drill a hole in it, you screw these in there, and then these snap off inside of it, and then you're fucked. Don't buy these either. They're dog shit. They've not worked one single time I've ever tried to use them. Oh, Motion Pro, uh, this removes the races. In the neck bearings, this spreads out, pulls the race out. Also, link in the bio on uh, Amazon. We'll have that for you guys. This is for driving the bearing races back in there. Also, link in the bio, available on Amazon, or not bio, link in the comments. Whatever that shit is down below, there will be links in it. This is the big drawer right here. So, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is for setting up Timken bearings in a motor case. That is not available on Amazon. This is a Jim's main seal driver, 
Jim's wheel bearing kits. None of this Jim stuff is available on Amazon. It is way too expensive. Uh, some more Jim shit, some more Jim shit. This is a Jim's inner bearing puller kit. Ring compressors, valve string ring compressors, sprocket sockets. These big bastards. These are $390 a piece. These are available on Amazon for like 90 bucks. I will put the link in the bio early and late. If you're doing chain drive kits, you have to have one of these. Don't weld a socket to some bullshit. Don't be that guy. Spend the 90 bucks on Amazon, buy this part. The link will be down in the comments. We'll make it super easy for you guys to do some Christmas shopping. Send it to your girlfriend or something or get a girlfriend that's got a lot of money. Have her buy you some shit. Clutch compression tool for an FXR. Clutch compression tool for a Sportster. Oh, this is main bearing tool for doing bearings in cases. Jim's tools, he ain't gonna be able to buy that shit anywhere either. But that's it. I mean, I feel like I showed you something useful. There's a whole lot of tools, there's a lot of stuff. You saw my toolbox, it's organized. It's normally cleaner than that, but we've been real busy. The videos are also on kind of a delay because one of our techs is out with some knee surgery, blew his shit up, so. I'm doing a lot more wrenching than I, what I want to do right now, but it is what it is. We'll keep them going as much as we can. Like I said, links for all these parts that are available on Amazon, we will put them down in the comments so you guys can get any of the shit that you need. More stuff's coming. Like, subscribe. Tell one of your friends about Cruise the Originals. Let's keep this ball rolling, folks. Thank you guys so much. Love you and appreciate it.